These assembly instructions presented to you by Fluffy Pants Studio. In this example, we scale parts to 53%. The approximate length of the assembled object is around 5.5 inches or 140 millimeters. We can only suggest the orientation and support settings, feel free to tune it. As a starting point, we recommend medium auto support for all bigger pieces. Tune support until you're satisfied with the result. Rotate the rest of the parts to achieve the best quality with your specific printer. Every 3D printer is different, your resin and exposure setting will affect the quality of the object. Try light auto support for small pieces. Printing Washing, curing, and support removal are not covered in this guide. Make sure that you have all 3D printed parts. Exacto Precision Knife Some of your favorite tools you always want to have around. Sanding twigs are optional, but I strongly suggest having them. Wet or dry sandpaper, 60 to 200 grit. The lower grit will make the process faster. Don't forget to always wear a mask, you don't want resin in your lungs. Sanding with a piece of sandpaper is possible. But I suggest sanding with a sanding twig, it's much easier and you'll have more control. It's very important to remove all signs of support material and any artifacts from joint surfaces. If it doesn't fit too well, don't be upset. You might need to sand a bit more. I recommend wet sanding with a compatible sandpaper or a sanding twig. Don't be afraid to use your precision knife to cut parts of the joint if something doesn't feel right. Continue until you're satisfied with the result and how everything fits together. When sanding is completed wash parts thoroughly under warm ASMR water. Don't be afraid to use both hands and a small soft brush. Teleport parts to a paper towel and let them dry. Fascinating. Make sure that you have all sanded parts. Sculpting tools of your choice. Super glue and gel form. I love epoxy sculpt, but feel free to use other similar epoxy clay compounds. A bit of water for the epoxy clay.
one by one glue together the main parts. Glue parts together and wait at least 10 seconds. Always wear unpowdered gloves to avoid transfer of body oils onto an object you work with. Remove any excessive glue. Examine the result of your work. Now you have two choices. Continue gluing other parts and skip optional gaps filling. Start gaps filling of the main body and glue the legs later. Let's pretend you choose the latter and want to fill these gaps with epoxy clay. Filling of gaps between parts will help with the organic and professional look. Mix your medium according to the instructions, mixing in small batches is always better. You can remove the glove from one of your hands to make the work easier, but avoid touching the model too much. Roll the clay into a thin rope and put it over the gap. Press the clay into the gap with your tool. Remove any excessive clay if you added too much. Use silicone sculpting tools and water to smooth out the surface of epoxy clay. When you finished filling gaps of the main body, glue the legs the same way we did earlier. You can use these images to identify parts. Fill gaps between the legs and the body. When you're done with filling, you can wash out small bits of material with a wet brush. Examine the final result. Depending on the material you used you can paint it right away or in a few hours. This is the end of this part. Thank you for your time. We hope you learned something today. Happy printing. We'll see you in the next part where we'll prime and paint this model.